Hi there, welcome to One Site Solutions YouTube channel, One Site TV. My name's Dan Harris, and today I'll be showing you a couple of tricks and cheats on how to apply things on mass. So we'll be looking at things like adding alarm extensions across multiple blocks in one hit. We'll be doing mass global commands. We can use them in the Vicon Pro utility module. And we'll also be looking at the program services. We'll do this in a breakdown over three sections of this video, and hopefully you'll find it very easy to use. So let me just show you one thing straight away. So we've got the alarm detection zone. These are just Boolean writables, just pseudo points that we've got, for example, examples and so I'm going to show you how you can actually by using a naming convention how you can actually mass change these in one hit this will be very handy for things like commissioning if you want to need to see the actual if your heating valves are working correctly over a floor etc you can actually override these 100 if they're numeric values if you want to test boolean points on alarming to make sure everything's working correctly it's just one of those blocks that are very useful and if we go into our vicon pro utility palette and expand a global commands sorry i was going to show the alarms later we've got four different we've got the booleans enums numerics and strings i won't go into them too much i'm sure you're very versed in them so what i'm going to do is just go grab the boolean writable command i'm just going to paste that in there because i'll be using the naming convention of these and using wild cards we'll be actually be adding that later so i'm just going to cheat a little bit click hit Control r and just copy my first part of my name because after then after the underscore then the naming convention changes so we can actually drill down and actually point this at our folder enter the point name i'll be using a wild card there because i want to do this on mass find the exact name i'll be setting that to false i'll be asking it to display confirmation and confirm once this is done so i'll just hit save and i'm just going to come back into our graphic wire sheet leave that there so I'm going to right click actions and set as you can see as normal we've got all the other things that we would normally have on a normal writable point but I'm just going to hit set and set that to true job checker runs through gives me a whole confirmation that it's actually run through and done the whole job hit OK and as you can see all my boolean writables are now gone to true so we're going to do that in reverse action set false confirmation and again, it's gone back and it's put our points back into a full state. So that is just, as I say, the global commands. Next part of our video, we'll be looking how to add alarms en masse. Hi, and welcome back to the second part of our video of mass deployment. Now we'll be looking at how to add alarms en masse across our whole station. You might find that you've done a project, you thought we'd done a great job, you may have just accidentally forgot to put an alarm extension, or the client has decided that he would like another extension added to your blocks on your station. So what I'm going to do is back down to our Vicon Pro utility module. I'm just going to minimize the global commands and I'm going to bring out the alarm and I'm going to do a batch add boolean change of state alarm. Again, We'll be using the same format as our previous part of the video, where we're using the naming convention and point at the folder to add this alarm block. So if I actually go into our Boolean writables, I've got no alarms in there whatsoever. Again, come back up and go into another one. So what I'm going to do is make sure I can add these en masse in retrospect of what I need to do. So I'm going to go into our batch module, come back, find the folder I want to point it at, Going into our point name, and again by using asterisk as a wild card, removing find exact name, display confirmation. Now we can do the whole configuration here. I could put a hyperlink order in there. I can actually put text or a full and off normal text, etc. Almost exactly what you had previously, or if you're doing it manually yourself. So you can go back and actually add these. So it's quite a handy little block. So I'm just going to save that. I'm going to come back out. I'm going to right click actions and just simply add alarm extension. Wait for it to come back for my confirmation. Hit OK. I'm going to go into my points now. And as you can see now, it's added a Boolean change of state alarm into every single one of my Booleans here, which is really handy. So actually, again, to test that, we'll be using our global hit set. I'm going to make that go true. Hit the confirmation. And as you can see, now we've got alarms coming through. Very simple, very easy. And as you can see, it really speeds things up quite a lot. Now, I would say if you're going to do this, make sure you back up before you do it, just in case you hit something wrong, make a spelling mistake, or actually deploy it to your, apply, deploy it to your whole job. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to be doing a third part of our video on, again, how to do things on mass. And uh, we'll see how we get on. See you in just a second. Hi, and welcome back to the third part of our video. 
So now we'll be looking at our batch config flag tool. This gives us the ability to hide commands on mass if we want to. And how I mean by that, you normally, if you hang over block, hit actions, we've got all these features. Some clients don't want everything there. Some clients want everything removed. So the idea is that I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to do that by using this little block here called the batch config flag tool. I'm just going to drop that beneath our other modules that we've done earlier. And again, we'll be using a naming convention. So again, I'll be hitting up there, going to the folder, we've got our blocks that we want to change to, okay. Entering component name, hitting a wildcard, moving match exact name, and now I'm just going to use, get, remove the emergency active and the override in active active. We're going to move all these blocks and auto. So what I'm going to do is, on mass, I'm going to be able to go to every single one of these blocks and move these and just leave set. So I'm just going to click hide slot come back with a confirmation let me come back out again and if i right click on these points then we've only got set really handy little feature as i say it speeds things up no end especially if the client the end user or the consultant wishes to have them removed so again i'm going to show you how again we use our global commands hit set make that true again confirmation and remove it. Again, if I hang over these points, we have already got set. You can see how handy this will be on a project if you actually go retrospectively have to do this. Okay, we're going to have a couple more sections hopefully to this video and see what else we can actually add and hopefully speed things you, you guys up with a couple more tips. Welcome back to the fourth part of our video on how to do mass changes on our system. I'll be looking at the program service. Now this will be a little bit quick overview. I'll be doing a more in-depth video of how to use a program service. But currently, I want to show you things, how to do things quickly on mass, especially at an end of a project. This will be showing you how we can actually use that to actually affect things within our blocks across the whole station. So I'll hold down control and double click services to open up another tab. I'm just going to go into our program service and I'll find objects. Again, on previous videos, I showed you how to use the BQL query format. I'm just going to go down and point out our fire alarms. I won't have to use a naming convention because I know every point in there I need to change is a Boolean point. I'm just going to sit there and hit OK. As you can see, we've now pulled up all our leak, det leak detection zones. So I'm just going to hit edit slot and I want to change just the facets. I'm going to say leak alarm for our true state and normal so I'm hit that and hit OK. We got our confirmation coming back that it's going to change the facets. Back over to fire alarm. I'm just going to sit there and just reset that. And as you can see, it's now done the facets on all our points. And again, by using a global facet input command, go to true, leak alarm, and again, actions, set, make that false again. That's great. So now we've actually been able to do multiple things now. We've actually been able to change the batch. We're doing the configuration. So we remove the overrides. We've been able to add alarms. And we've also been able to mass change points. I've also now just showed you to use the program service, how we can actually change the facets on mass. But as I say, we'll be doing a video a bit more detail on the program service in a few weeks' time to give you a bit more detail. But there's one more thing I want to actually show you. You might find that you have to add, add another alarm class. And still on mass, there's one more section that makes it very easy go to so i'm just going to go back into my services and i'm going to right click on my alarm service i'm going to do a view extension manager this goes out and finds out all the points that we actually got with an alarm point on and it sits there and i've got them all pointed to default alarm class i'm just going to click them and hit that one i'm going to right click I'm going to edit alarm class drop down and just go to a different alarm class that has thus, again, very quickly on mass been able to change all my alarms across the system. Now you can actually choose which ones you want. You don't have to do them all. You can cherry pick and use certain ones that you can send to certain alarms. It just shows things very quickly. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. It just shows you a quick way how to do things on mass without having to do clicking all the time in and out of various blocks. And hopefully it makes your life a lot easier. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. Like if you can just beneath. Or if you've got any other questions or comment, feel free to leave them below. Thanks a lot for watching.